Hi guys, welcome to G Live. So this is Luke of Gaming Library, of course. Um, this is a solo gameplay of Burgle Brothers by Fowers Games. Uh, I'm playing it on Tabletopia. It is free to play, and the, the game is also free to play. There are some games that you have to pay to play, but this one is one of the free ones. However, only the solo version is free. If you want to play with more players, you have to pay for it. Um, but I think you could still technically play with more players. You just need to look up what the other character cards are. Um, this uh, the, the app already randomly chooses a character for you. So um, so you just have to... The, but the, all the pieces are here, so you can technically play with it with more than one player. You can try. Um, Burgle Brothers is a cooperative game, so that's why it, it's okay to play with more people in one um, uh, computer because uh, it's a cooperative game. So uh, this is one of those cooperative games where um, there's no hidden um, cards or stuff within players, so you, you can actively talk through strategies that you want to do. So, Burgle Brothers is about a heist, a uh, this case a bank heist of three floors. I will be stealing from three safes, safes from each uh, one from each floor, and then escape through the stairwell on the third floor to go to the roof where the helicopter is waiting for me. Uh, but then there are guards walking around the floors, um, and then if a guard sees me, I have to lose a stealth token. If I lose my last stealth token, I will lose. Uh, yeah, so technically I have four lives, even though I have three stealth tokens. So if I have to lose a stealth token and I don't have any, I lose the game. Um, in a solo game, there you will only use seven out of the uh, seven cards for the patrol deck. And then when we reshuffle them, you reshuffle all cards and then just play the, the uh, just take out nine cards again and then just use the sevens. That way, um, the guard's movement speeds up faster, but you still don't know where the guard is going around, if that makes sense. You'll see it in a while. So I'll describe what a turn goes. A turn goes by, for, by either peeking the next room which which just which, which just makes me flip the tile. Uh, another thing is moving into the room. The reason why I wouldn't want to move, why I want to peek instead, is uh, sometimes uh, moving into a room triggers an alarm. So I might want to peek in first and see what happens before I move in. Another is hacking a computer. Hacking a computer adds hack tokens, up to six per computer room, and then. Uh, Whenever I trigger an alarm, I can instead remove a hack token that matches the type of alarm that I triggered. Uh, another action I can do is when I'm on the safe tile, I can place a die on the safe tile uh, that spends two actions. And then later, as an action, I can roll all the dice in the safe tile. And what I'm trying to do is get the numbers that are on the row and column of where the safe tile is. You'll see that in a while. So that's the quick gist of the game. Uh, um, I'll be explaining more rules as they go along. I'll be explaining the tiles. Uh, movement is uh, hindered by walls, as you can see the orange lines. They are a little hard to see, but there they are. I am also given the uh, the hacker. So uh, the hacker, I do not trigger footprint, laser, or motion tiles. Oh, that's nice. And other players will not trigger it well. I'm only solo here, so there won't be any other players. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll start the setup by placing where this guard starts. And then I have to choose which tile I think I should start in. Hmm. I think I want to start here. Ooh, secret door. So the secret door means I can move through walls into the secret door room, but not the other way around. So technically from this room, from A2, I can go to A3. And then I draw where the guard will go next. Huh? 
uh, oops. Uh, B3. I'll place the die there. The number on the die indicates how many movement the guard does. Uh, okay, so it goes there. So I have four actions. I'll pick this room. One. It's the safe. Okay, so that means I want to open the row and column where it is. Uh, number two, pick this one. Oh, it's a lavatory. That's great. Uh, this means that um, I put three stealth tokens on the lavatory. And then whenever the guard passes by me while in the lavatory, I remove a token from the lavatory instead of my own tokens. So that's three. I oh, know that's two. Three here. Then four, I will reveal this. It's a walkway. If revealed during a move, I fall downstairs. That's not bad. So the guard moves once, two. By the way, that was my four actions. So the guard, it's the guard's movement now. So that's two. And he sees me, but I use the stealth token of the lavatory instead. And then I look where he goes next. C1. Okay. And then it will be my turn. There's... Okay, so I have to go around. A peek for my first action. Oh, it's a keypad. I roll one die, I, it opens on a six, and I die, oh, it open on six. Add die each roll. Okay. So one, it's a two. Second action will be rolling again. Three, it's still not six. Third action, ooh, okay, it's six. Now I think I have to risk it. Mm. Uh, I'll double check if I have to roll again to open a, a key card type of room. Keypad, I mean. Or I place an open dial. Technically, I've opened it on my second roll because it only. Yeah, I add more for each incorrect. I add one more roll for each incorrect guess I made. So technically, I made it in three rolls, so I did it in only two actions. Oh. Okay, so once it's open, I know the code already. That's good. So my third action was moving in. Right? Yes. Because first was rolling, second was rolling twice. Third, do I move in? That's the question though. Okay, let's risk it. I don't know. No, no, no. I, I probably won't move anymore. Yeah, that's better because if I do two or less actions, I draw from the event deck. Sorry. From the event deck. So I did two actions by rolling to open it. So it says, go with your gut. If you are an adjacent to an unexplored tile, move into it now. Choose a... Sadly, no. I'm not adjacent. This is considered not adjacent because there's a, a wall. Uh, now it moves. The guard moves one and two. Then it's my turn again. One. I'll do this. Two. It's good. It's an emotion computer room. Three and then four. Okay, it's an atrium. You may pick up or down seen from above and below. Oh, that's nice. Um, then it's the guard's turn. One. And then... Two. Goes to B1. And then... Two. Sorry, that was one and then two. Then I choose the next destination. To be D2. Okay, then my turn would be one... Two, it's a fingerprint. I do not trigger it, so that's good. Oh, I got an easy character. Three, and four, it's a dead bolt. If empty, three actions to enter. Okay, does that mean once I open it, I'm fine? Oh. Uh, 
Okay, so it doesn't stay open. Okay, that's bad. So it's the guard's turn. One, two, and it stops. Then my turn will be three actions to move in, and then a peak action. It's the stairs. That's good. At least I know I can go up. Okay, and then it's the guard's turn again. This is first movement. And it will go to C4. And then two. And then I'll go here, one. Peak here. And doesn't matter, because I go three to move into the secret door room and then four to land on the safe yeah then the guard goes one two Good. then oh no he'll go to my space Oof. it's bad hmm okay i have to do this quick so my first action will be rolling uh, putting these dice I mean my four actions will be putting the dice yeah no no, no. Uh, just one action to put the die and then I hide in the lavatory then the guard goes one two I remove a stealth token again and then I would do nothing no no I'll move here one that's it and then I'll draw an event since I moved less than three. Throw a voice. If there are no currently alar active alarms on your floor, move the guard destination into an adjacent tile. It's current location following normal movement. Okay, then I'll place it here. Yeah. So I place the guard destination into an adjacent tile. Okay, he moves quicker. So this will be one. And then since, oh, I've run out. So I have to reshuffle. Oops. I have to shuffle them all. One, two, three. Then I draw seven. No, no, I'll, I'll do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I flip the last one. C1, so he goes there. Huh? So he stays here. I don't move again since the guard is. I don't want to waste the last stealth token. So I do another one. The guard on your floor has additional movement this turn. Oh, that's bad. And uh, that's okay. One, two, three, moves there. He had an espresso. Uh, new tile. It's B4. Okay, good thing I'm moving out of that one. So it'll be one, two, three. And then I roll the die. You never know. So two. See, uh, so I'm trying to roll the numbers, as you can see, on the lower right of the tiles. So I rolled the two. That's good, actually. So I cover this two. I cover this two. That's the guard's movement again. Be one, two. And then I'll, for my first and second action, I'll add a die. For my third action, I will roll the dice. I get a three and a one. Yes, that's good. I cover the three. And I cover the one. Is that a one? Yeah, it's a one. Now I need a four and a six. Four action. It's another roll. It's a five. Oh, that's bad. Oh, sorry, the guard should have had three movement since I've reshuffled. So technically, one. Oh, C3, that's two. Two, three, and then next movement, B2. That's good. Then I won't add a die. I'll just hope I get it. Four and six. Nope, that's first action. Second action, yes, I get the six. I need the four. Need four rolls, technically. Need the four. Yes! And then my fourth action will be moving here. The guard's turn. One, two. A4. Oh. Three. Mm-hmm. 
I'll do one, two, three right here. And the guard will go one, two, three. I'll go one, two, three, four. The guard goes one. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I need to take that back. Uh, the, the guard should have increased the movement since I opened the safe. And then I should have gotten a tool and a loot for opening the safe. My tool will be smoke bomb. Discard to add three stealth tokens to the current tile. These tokens can be only used in this room. It's like a la like the lavatory, but it's like this. the loot is always bad. It's a stamp. When three actions or fewer are used by the holder, trigger an event. Okay, I haven't done that yet. Stamp is not too bad. Um, it should be in four. So technically, he should have moved somewhere here already. Yeah, since he's going to A2. Yeah, that's right. And then now it's my turn. I peek the next floor. It's a laser and I don't trigger lasers. Wow, I'm really lucky with this guy. Two, and now the guard, this guard doesn't move anymore since he, since I am not on his floor anymore. So that's good. Third action. Oh, wait, uh, wait. Do I put the guard immediately? I'll double check. Hmm. Oh, I immediately place the the guard. Okay. D four. Oh, he's he's on D four. I just place him right, and then I put the destination. Yeah, they reveal the destination. So he's on D four. He's going to C four. Okay, that's near. That's my, uh, I did two actions already, so. Uh, this one, third. Oh, laboratory, I should move in. Should I? Yeah, I'll move in to get a tool. Virus, discard to add three hack tokens to any computer room. Oh, that's good. Okay. Hmm, so it's the guard's turn, one, two, three. And then he moves to a different space. B2. Oh, oh. So one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, four, five. So he has to move toward the the most clockwise. So it's this one. That's bad. Okay. I go one. Uh, so, and then two. It's a thermo. If actions end here, trigger alarm. Okay. Uh, I need to risk it, I think. Three. Oh, that's good. Okay. Technically, I did it. Then I need to risk it again. For my fourth action. Ah, oh, I can't. I need to roll a six. And I did it. So I'm stuck here. Oh, no. The guard goes one, two, three. He sees me. I remove one stealth token. I'm fine with that. I'm saving up the smoke bomb for something serious later. So... Peek here. It's a motion. I don't trigger motions. Yeah, I don't trigger motion. It'll be one, two, three, and four. It's a service duck. So the service duck, I mean, move to the other duck if I find it. And then the camera, I can it can only trigger an alarm if the guard is on another camera maroon. So not too bad. Just one, two. Goes to, he's going to be two. So it's three. Yeah, here. So I go one, two, three. It's a detector. If holding the tool or if holding tool or loot trigger alarm. Hmm, do I risk it? I don't think I should. Now I'm kind of stuck. Because these areas are both, both have alarms. And then the safest and the stairs are somewhere here. Ooh. Hmm. Kind of want to go through the detector. 
just because well, how many did I do already? I think I did three I'll do four and I'll discard the smoke bomb yeah so that if he has to go through me he won't see me so there'll be an alarm here since I triggered it and the destination will be here the guard goes one two he doesn't see me he turns off the alarm and he looks for another place to go c2 he goes three yeah and my movement will be one it's the stairs that's good two it's a foyer seen from adjacent what does that mean uh foyer there if the guard is in adjacent tile and you are in it oh, okay so the guard can see me in the foyer if he's adjacent oh that's bad that's bad um i did two actions i'm not doing any more so i draw a event Lost grip. Fall one floor. This does not count as entering. What? What? That's bad. Oh no, I fall. Okay, but this guard moves now. One, two, three, four. God. So bad. Oh god. Do I risk losing? Just go one, two, three, four. So I don't have to draw an event. Guard goes one, two, three, four. Oh no, four. Then I go one, two, three, four. The guard goes one. And then it's set to five. Then I have to reshuffle this. Oops. Uh, I have to reshuffle all of them. Why is it not selecting all the cards? There. I'll just draw one. D2. Okay. Does it move? Yeah. One, two, three, four, four. Five. So it adds another card. D3. Five. And technically, I draw another card. D2. Okay. Then I go up again. B1. Two, three, four. Hoping that there won't be camera on the other side. So that's one. C one. Two. Let's run out. C three. Three. Okay, I'll do one. I trigger the alarm, which makes him move here. One, two, three. It's a thermal. I'll go back, four. Then he goes one, two. Deactivates the alarm. Doesn't see me. And then this increases by one. Then I have to shuffle all of it back. Oops. Oh. It won't go in. <laughs> it won't go in. Shuffle these. Oh. oh, it won't select. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I'll just use the sink. How oh, many won't select?
Good stuff. Okay. Glitching. So I'll just use these cards. I think they're the same. Oh no, it won't select as well. <gasps> What's happening? Okay. Oh, it won't select if it's like that. Weird. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, I remember. Now I can't go in there. Oh, so bad. Where is the safe? I hope it's not B1. Uh, I'm not moving, so... Oh, no, no, I'll pretend I move so that I don't have to draw an event. I'll go like, one, two... Oh, no, no, I don't want to move because I'll trigger the alarm. Yeah. Gain a stealth. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Back to three. So the card goes one. Uh, select D3. So he goes like this. Two, three, four. Uh-huh. To see one, hopefully I'm gone by then. One, two, it's a keypad. A roll. Uh, then I'll try to move in, but I don't want to. I'll just try to open it. Okay, and I definitely opened it, but I won't move in. Oh, I will, I will. So one, two, three, four, and then he sees me. Fine. Then I go, um, one, it's the safe. I knew it. I knew the safe would be there. Now technically, I can't. I'm stuck. Well, he'll see me anyway, so just go there. Oh, or does the this triggering an alarm in my turn? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll just make him move here. That was one, I think. Yeah, one, two, three, and go in four. And then he has to move here since he triggered it. And then since it's a laboratory, so I get a tool. A thermal bomb. Oh, this is the one that makes... This makes more... Um, what do you call it? A stair stairwell. Yeah, makes another stairwell. Hmm. I don't know if that's good. Okay, so this is one. He deactivates it. Another card. I think I have... Th this is three. So I need... D3. One, two, three, four. And then he ends his turn. And then he goes to C4. Then I'll be one. Trigger the alarm again. Two, three. And then since I have to stop, I have to draw an event because of the stamp. Move the guard on your for one tile towards the nearest character. Okay, so it starts here. Not too bad, not too bad. So he goes one, two, takes it off, and then chooses a new tile to go to. C3. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's the most clockwise, so I said one, two, right? 
yeah one two three four yeah yeah i add a die to the safe and i add another die yeah it's safer to have more dice i have to roll one six three and four so that's four numbers so one two is the last card before i have to reshuffle d4 three four and then i have to reshuffle now Oops. His movement is now five. Oof. Okay. His destination is C3 for the next turn. So I have four actions to get these. Okay, roll. I covered a one and the six. That's great. Now just a three and a four. Second action. Three. Yes. Third action. Yeah. So by my third action, I did it. The guard increases by one. Oh no. So I have to move quick. And then I get a tool. Dynamite. Destroy a wall adjacent to you and trigger an alarm. Mm, that's good. And the loot is a mirror. Minus one action while holding. Holder does not trigger laser alarm. So now I have one less action. Okay. That's bad. I take, oh, technically I don't have that action since I got the mirror. Uh-oh. Okay, the guard goes one. Oh, wait. Hmm. Should I use the thermal bomb after this turn? I should. This one, two. Oh. E2. Three, four, five. Six. Maybe I am okay with moving there. Yeah, I don't need to use it. So one, two, three. I stop, but I have to... Oh, I don't have to stop. Yeah, I just triggered the alarm. Four. Yeah, six movement. <laughs> That's great. So one, two, three. Remove this. Four. One, two, three. Okay, that's six. It's only the sixth card, right? Oh, fifth card. Now I can go up. Yes, that's great. I, I haven't been putting downstairs tokens. Now I'm on the third floor, guys. Wish me luck. One. Two. Oh, wait, wait. Before I flip, the guard has to move. I have to pass to place. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he's going to my place, so I have to move fast. <sighs> this is hard. Okay, good thing I have. What was that? Dynamite. I'll go. I'll just move. You never know. Yeah, yeah. I'll go one. Good. I'll go two. Still good. I'll go three. It's stairs, so this is my way out. And I'll peek at four. Ah! Good thing I stopped. I would have triggered that alarm. Now my question is: Should I do? A, should I break the wall here? I'll find out. So one, two, three, and the guard moves to C one. Oh. Why is he always going to where I am? Four. Yeah, I just trigger it since he's going there anyway. One. We we we. Two, 
three. Oh no no no! Sorry sorry. I shouldn't have seen that. I didn't know what it was. I just saw red. I saw two, three. Then I'll move in here. Four. Yes, that's good. I may pick up on the sun. One, two, three. He stops it. And then he moves to B4. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four. He stopped here. Okay, still safe. I have one. Uh oh. Thermo. Yeah, I'll risk it. I'll. Oh, I'm trapped. Oh, never mind. Let's let's rewind, rewind. So that's one. Just looking at it. Oh no, no. I think it will be better if I just break the wall. Yeah. Two will be moving here, triggering the alarm. Now destroy. Use the dynamite on the wall. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it triggers the alarm on the current tile I'm in also. Okay. Oh, it's camera. It's three. And then I'll move in here. Risk it. Four. It's a secret door. It doesn't matter as well. Now the guard moves. One, two. Removes this. And he tries to go here. Three. He goes through the door. Uh, I mean the wall, broken wall. The dynamite said that uh, he can. He tries to go to D3. Uh oh, I think he has to pass through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yep, he has to pass through. Four. Right? One, two, three. Yeah. He moved four already. So he saw me. Luckily, oh. I have two more times that he can see me. I have to risk it. One. Ah! Oh, I fall. Uh oh. And I think this means the last guard saw me. I'll have to double check, but that's so bad. I shouldn't have. I should just peek. Oh, you do not discard if a guard. Okay, let's cheat, guys. <laughs> let's pretend I didn't move in. I'm so sorry. Just to make it interesting, because I feel like the game will definitely... I will definitely lose if I fall, because I have to go through a lot again. So I'll just go one, and then I'll move two, and then I'll risk again. There's a three. No, I can't go in. I'll risk this one. Four. Okay, good. That's the safe, but I have to open this one, which I should have opened a while ago. Uh, the guard groups. One, two, three, four. Goes to be two. Now I go one, two, three, four. That's it. Because the dead ball takes three actions to enter. Oh, wait. Uh, the guard goes one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's good. I'll peek. One, two, three. I only move three times, so I have to do an event. Hopefully, I don't fall this time. The next player gains. Does that mean me? What if I'm playing by myself? This is heads up. It doesn't say anything. I'll take that as me. Okay, so the guard goes one. Uh oh. Two. 
Okay, I'm, I have no more stealth tokens. Okay. Oof. It was one, two, goes three, 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 four, fives. It's five now since he saw. I had to reshuffle. Okay. One, two, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he has to pass through me. Oh, well. One, two, three. Oh, he saw me again. Now, what if I didn't choose the other guy and I chose to move here? Yeah, then he would have gone one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good. Let's see, three. Oh, that's a long way. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes one, two. Oh, no, no, no. It's my turn now. So I go one, two, three, four. And he goes five here. Okay, I'm still safe. B4. Then it's my turn. Right, right. Now I have to roll. I need to get one, two, three, and four. Okay. So this is one. Okay, I covered the ones and the twos. That's great. Oh, I should have get, been getting less actions. Oh, well, that's a question mark on my game. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, okay. Let's just pretend. <laughs> um, that's my first action. Second action. Nope. Third action. I did it. Then I draw a loot tool. Makeup kit. Discard to give all players That's, okay interesting curse goblet i lose one more stealth then i lose okay so i couldn't even make it to the stairs without the, with one more without having one more stealth token uh ha huh. so that was hard i'll double check if i can Oh, if you have zero stealth tokens, okay, okay, okay. Technically, I can, I can go on. Technically. Let's pretend I don't have the mirror. The mirror and the stamp is a bad combination. It's bad. Okay, one, two. This is a big question mark. Three. Or five and then it's the last card before I have to reshuffle oh that's great then I go one two three and then I go out technically I won but I I should have been moving one less action because of the mirror that I forgot yeah so you you guys saw me one but that's still a question mark since... Oh wow, the, the laser room's there. There's no thermal computer room. Great. Okay, so... I technically won if I didn't have the mirror. Um, but... Um, I think if I did... If I followed the mirror's rules, I would have lost. Because the guard would have moved... A lot and would have passed me by a lot already and then I would have lost that by then so it's not that it's a lost cause it would have taken more time but the time that it would have taken to do things would have meant that I don't know really maybe I could have won yeah because this 
the areas here are quite um I can move through most of them since I'm the hacker. Hmm. But I think if I have to raise the alarm, I raise the dice of the guard. Um Oh, it's only to a maximum of six, so technically it doesn't increase by six. Maybe I could have left. Well, I don't know. Technically, I won. Uh, question mark. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but, but that's how complicated this game is. I played the standard game. Um, you, you can try the beginner le beginner game. It's only two floors in the beginner game. So, as you can see, I quickly passed through the set two floors. Without cheating, I think. Um, <laughs> so that's a good thing. I technically won this. I, I, I say it's a win, but I think it's still a question mark. But that's Burgle Bros. You can again, you can try it out here in Tabletopia. Um, also, the each character also has an advanced variant that it's a its ability is more um, tactical than the usual. So that's a thing you can do. And then there are more characters. And I think they're coming up with a sequel called Burgle Bros 2. I don't know when it's coming out, but they had a Kickstarter for it. So you can wait for it there. Tapos, ito pa may lost visual. You can play with this one, which basically the guard disappears. And then, you draw, and then the next card you draw will be where he appears again. So, yeah, this was a weird ending. I'm so sorry that it was kind of anticlimactic. So, yeah, this is um, Burgle Bros. I hope you enjoyed my single solo playthrough of it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like this pre-recorded instead of the live ones, um, uh, you can comment that as well. Uh, it's kind of hard to up do live streams especially for me because um, my internet it's not that good so hopefully if you like this you can just say so and we'll do more of this uh, not just solo we can pre-record um, um, segments as well like we I can uh, we can pre-record like um, us playing games like this as well so yeah that's it um, thanks guys for watching see you next time Bye.